Build, Farm, Hunt or Trade in Ranch Simulator, the realistic multiplayer agriculture management sandbox. Ranching certainly isn't your average job. Think you have the skills to turn your family's rundown homestead into the most prosperous ranch in the valley? Well, that's what we're here to find out. First, let me say thank you though to the developers for providing me with a key to the game, which is coming out officially into early access on Steam on the 4th of March, but we already got our hands on it and we're gonna dive right into it and see what the game is all about. Let's have a look at the character customization. So we can be male or female. We have certain presets here that we can select from. We also have general settings, which is our skin tone, it seems. Beard, stubble, body hair. We have hair in general settings. We have nose settings, <laughs> eye settings, eyebrows. We have mouth where we can change the mouth shape, the size of the mouth, the height, the depth. We have jaw settings, body settings, muscular. Oh yeah, baby. We're gonna be so buffed and muscle mass to the max. And then we have apparel. Oh, look at that. We can actually change the color of our t-shirt. Oh, I like that. But that is actually taken from real life. So just to let you know. So there is actually quite a lot here. We have the upper body where we can change shirts, the miscellaneous where we can change classes, sunglasses, hands. Yes, I would like some. That would be great. Footwear, sandals, boots. I mean, we're on a farm, so I don't think we would be going around with sandals unless it's with white socks so we can scare the neighbors all right here we go here's our character in the world we had a bus stop i suppose that's where we started we just just got dropped off we inherited a farm or a ranch i believe and we're just gonna have to see what we can make out of it there is actually music in the game and it's really nice and pleasant to listen to but again uh, when making content not sure about copyright so we're not having it on okay so sprint jump crouch okay and v to change camera view oh okay and if we hold down V, we can get completely into first person view. That's pretty cool. A lot of people prefer to play like that. So we have to follow the blue icon and read the letter. A letter? Okay, look at that. If that is our ranch, that's actually pretty cool. Look at that. I mean, it's already a complete building. Oh, look, we can save the game here. We can sleep. That is pretty awesome. Oh, man. Yeah, that definitely needs some work. Let's go and follow the blue dot and just let's do what we're told. Let's actually see in first person. Do we still have hands and legs? We do. We have a body. That's brilliant. I like that. Okay, so let's read. Hello, grandchild. If you read this letter, then you agree to fulfill my last will and came to our family ranch. It is desolate because I did not have the time and opportunity to deal with it. Come into the house. I left a few things in the attic that will help you. I believe in you, your loving grandfather. So we knew each other so well, we didn't even dress each other by name, which is a hey, grandchild. To open the quest log, press J. Oh, look at that. Nice menu. I like it. All main side quest completed. So we have quests as well. That's pretty cool. I like having the freedom to do kind of what you want in these games, but at the same time, also a little bit of a guidance, you know, so you know you have something to work towards. We have a map here. Okay. So we're here at the ranch. And then we have a gas station, car shop, general store, hardware store. Okay. So press J to view the quest log for more information. Turn on a radio on the wall. Find the tent. Well, we found the tent already. The tent is right here. So it's actually safe. Sleeping and saving. Here you can sleep until morning and save your progress anytime. Oh, I love it. Let's head into the house. I'm going to be switching between first and third person a little bit every now and then just to test it out, which I prefer. I don't really know yet. Okay, what do we have here? A radio. Okay, let's turn it on. Oh, yeah, of course, there's no sound because we have music turned off. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the obstacles. Inspect the second floor of the house. Oh, okay. Let's go back into first person. How do we get upstairs? Wow, this place absolute disaster. Oh, there's the stairs up there in the in the back. Just about. I don't know if I would feel safe to walk up there. To destroy, remove items, select the demolish menu. Okay, tab. So hold tab and then go to demolish. Nice. Oh, I love it. Remove trash. Press to demolish. No, no, no. We don't want to demolish anything else. We're just going to clear out everything. Find the chest upstairs. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Let's go back into the hand mode. And open the chest. Oh, nice. Ammunition, a gun. Oh wow, and money. That that looks more like a like a last moment chest than a uh, good luck to your future chest. Take this revolver. In the forest, there are many wild animals that can cause you trouble. I have left some money and armor. Uh, ammo. One more thing. You will need a car. In the garage at the entrance to the ranch, there is an old UTV. You will need to use the spare parts you will find here to fix it up. 
Good luck. Um, is there fall damage in this game? Um, no, we're okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. So we're gonna have to find wheels, a seed, bumper guard, and a fuel tank. Okay, so let's actually start with the stuff that's closest to us. Oh, there's a tire. Where do we actually have to bring it? Where's the car? It's the red part. Okay, can we pick up multiple things? No, okay, it will be exchanging one for the other. Okay, so why don't we go up then and see if we can put the tire on, on the car. There we go, look at that sexy beast. Okay, let's install the tires. Very nice. Ah, there's some fuel. Pick up the item, hold to start placement, press to confirm the placement, scroll to rotate the object. Okay, so if I would hold, so if we press left click, we just put it back down basically. Oh, there's another tire here. Very good. There we go. Nice. Second tire. I can't use these tires. It, ha it has to be those tires. There we go. There's the third one here. Ah, there we go. There's our seat, or one of them. <laughs> I like the way he's holding it. He's like, oh, it's dirty. I don't want to touch it. Get it away from me. Yeah, it is easier, actually, in first person, like, to aim at these things. And what do we have across here? What is this? Oh, there's another... What is that? A fuel tank? And there's another tire over here as well. Fuel tank goes here. Okay. And here we have the last tire. Beautiful. Is that it? We have the wheels. Oh, we need one more seat. Oh yeah, the other seat is in the house. I remember that. It was right here by the letter. Okay, here we go. Very nice. Oh, the bumper guard. We have to find a bumper guard. Seems to be right out here. There we go. Ah, oh, sweet. Flip the car. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so I'm assuming that's when you have an accident or something. Okay. Jerry can placed. Oh, we have to pick up the jerry can. And I think we have to put it in here or something. And then it says hold left, is it? Oh, no, hold right. Oh, okay, I get it now. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. So we can just put it in here and left click. Yeah, that is actually pretty sweet. We're going to the gas station now. Oh, handbrake, switch lights, ignition. Okay, turn it on. Oh, nice. Can we go into first person view? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, that's very fast. Where is the gas station? Okay, we have to follow this road around. Do we have to follow the road or can we go cross country? Because I think it would be straight through here. No, there's a big mountain or something. Oh, this is sweet. We have a handbrake on this thing as well. Oh, yes. Oh, this is already my favorite vehicle. It's basically WASD as well. The mouse is moving separately. It doesn't have any bearing on the steering, but oh, my balls are sensitive. We have lights. Oh, cool. Oh, and mouse wheel actually zooms in and out of the camera as well. Oh, here we go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, so let's see how this works. Go back to first person view. So let's fill the car and the jerry can. Okay, so let's pick this up. Ooh, okay, dangerous. Okay, is that, is that filling it up now? Oh, start refueling. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. I don't have any money. I don't think I have any money. Okay, stop. Stop refueling. And is it full now? I think so. Let's take it out. No, that was not what I wanted to do. Thank you. Okay, I've got to... The whole place is going to blow up in a second. Insert. How do we know when it's full, actually? Oh, it stops automatically. Okay, let's talk to the guy inside the shop. There's nobody there. Talk with the car salesperson. I mean, we paid for the gas, I think. It took the money of us. Do we actually, how much money do we have? Do we, do we see that somewhere? We have $434, okay. Okay, let's talk to the car salesperson. Oh, wow, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> perfect! Oh, that was so perfect. 
Let's go and talk to the car salesperson. Maybe we can buy a new car, like something bigger, like an SUV, something like, oh, yes, that would be so beautiful. Can we go and drive it? Can I just bring it for a test drive, like for a week? Oh, look at that. That is amazing. What a car. That is nice. That's what we need on the farm. My, my, my grandfather would have wanted me to have this. Welcome. Here you can buy a car or customize it. For all our new customers, we install radio players in their four-wheelers for only $10. Just drive into the garage behind this building and install the radio. If you want to buy a vehicle, use the computer in front of me. How can I buy a car? Use the computer here. Okay, he said that, to be fair. What's the difference between cars? All cars differ in technical characteristics as well as capacity. See the computer for more details. Goodbye. I mean, there's no point talking to you because your answer is always the same. See the computer for details. Oh, look at that. Nice. Let's check out. This is what we have in the moment. It's a UTV. Its capacity is two pigs. Oh, this looks so run down. Oh, it, fix, it, it, fit, it fits two pigs or a cow. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is amazing. I want this. This is so cool. This is for when we go shopping where we don't need any capacity. This is the no kids car. Yeah, this is for four little piglets. Or two and two and a cow. Oh, wow. Okay, so this one is a big boy. Oh, I exited. No, I didn't want to exit. A sedan, 550. So this is a 2,300. This car is a pickup for 1,250. And then we have a sedan. Yes, we need that. That reminds me of the car you see in games like My Summer Car. SUV. Oh, yes. Yeah, sexy. Okay, so we're going to have to drive our car into the back of the building. Okay, hang on. We have to back that up very gently. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, hang on. Oh, okay, it automatically puts it in. I didn't even have to make the effort. Okay, extras, radio, none. Oh, okay, so we just pick it. And oh, okay, we can change the color of the car. I like blue. Blue's my favorite color. And then the brightness, we can make it a bit brighter. I love this. This is really nice. I like that. There we go. Thank you. Oh, we wasted 50 quid on um, making a different color, but that's okay. Okay, so what now? Talk to the seller. Talk to the seller. I don't know what a seller is. Do we do we have to go to the general store, I think? That's the that, that's where we have to go. Oh yes! Yes! Oh! Oh wow! I mean I never hit a deer before, but is that is that is that how it is that your car just stops and the deer just goes prancing on? This is where the seller is. Hello? <gasps> They're closed. Okay, the seller is right there. I can see you. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to go home to get some rest first, but luckily there seems to be a road which goes straight to our ranch. Oh, whoa. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna be taking that home. This looks not safe. Especially this car, which is way too fast for its size, but okay. Okay, here's the tent. Let's try that out. So sleep and safe is hold E. Nice. Oh, and that's it. We are actually in the tent. Hello? There we go. I love it. This is really, really cool. I'm really liking this so far. Let's see if you open already. Very nice. Yeah, you open at 8 a.m. in the morning. And it says it's 8.44. So I didn't even realize we have a time right there in the middle. Oh, what is this? Wow, we can buy things. Like we can buy chicken. We can buy cockadoodles. We can buy cows and pigs and Scotland cows. And then we can buy a crowbar and all the tools. That is nice. Oh, coffee. Can we, can we, can we buy coffee? No? Can we, can we buy soda? No? Let's talk to you. <laughs> she does not look like she cares. Okay, buy items. Axe, crowbar, hammer, egg basket, two chickens. Welcome. To make a purchase, use the terminal in the next room. Purchased items will appear in the area to the left of me. Livestock will be outside. For more information on livestock, view the glossary. To sell items, place them in the area to the left of me and confirm the sale using the terminal. Oh, what is this? Take it? <gasps> I took it. I have no what it is, but I took it. Can I take your cup? I took a record. So let's see what we have to buy. So we have to buy a crowbar, add to cart. We have to buy an axe, add to cart, a hammer, add to cart, egg baskets, add to cart, inflatable mattress. Oh, that means we can sleep outside, is it? Or is that for inside a house or something? I have no idea. And how, oh, look at that. We have different colored chicken. Oh, that is sweet. So how many chickens do we need? Okay, let's go to the cart and let's check out. 
thank you for your purchase. Um, but let's see, we probably forgot something. We need two chicken. Okay, we're gonna have, yeah, let's buy a white one and let's buy a brown one. There we go. Do we not need to buy a rooster to make sure that we get more chicken? Uh, no, okay, let's do that for now. A hundred. Thank you for your purchase. I have no more money left, do I? Okay, pick up the items. How much money do I have left? Ooh, 194. I hope we're gonna start making money soon. Okay, so let's pick this up. Oh, these ones are picked up with E because they're small items, I guess. Okay. And, oh. There we go. Now we need to place that in here. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> I just purchased you guys. You're not allowed to run away. I mean, you would just literally walk off into the middle of the road now. Okay. Oh, look at that. We have a chick. That's so cool. Okay, where's the other chicken? We bought two. I was just about to say we bought two. Oh, look at that. You can see it's hunger. It starts its health and thirst. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, dirty chicken, dirty chicken, dirty chicken. It's when the city boy comes to the farm and tries to work. He's like, oh, keeping at max distance. Oh, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me. It looked at me. It made eye contact. Now we have to go back to the ranch, which we can do through our secret connected road. These chicken, I mean, will they actually fall out if we have an accident or something? Let's try it. No, these guys are not falling out. They are absolutely nailed to the floor. This is the best all-around vehicle. This drives better than the Jeep in Seven Days to Die. Okay, let's take this chicken. Okay. Find a bag of grains. Poor food on the point. Do we not have something where we put the chicken in? Okay, so I'm gonna put you down here and you will stay here, okay? No running away. I'm just gonna go and get some food. Do not run away. Come on, quick, quick, quick. That chicken is not gonna stay forever. Where's that? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Quick, 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 quick. Well, I hope they they stay in the general area. Okay, so let's see. Right click. Oh, E to pour on the ground. Oh, okay, cool. Is it gonna eat? No, it doesn't care. Find a bucket of water, and we're gonna leave you here in case this one decides to go off and, I don't know, marry a bear or something. Like, you're gonna stay with me, okay? So that we have a backup. So we need a water tank. There's a water tank, okay. Pick up. Let's put it right here. Let's take the bucket. Oh, install. Oh, look at that! That is so cool! We got a hundred quid for that. Okay, now we have to find a lawnmower so we can run over the chicken, I'm guessing. Oh, look at this. This place looks like so broken. Oh, we have lights as well. This is awesome. Do we just drive over things? Is that how it works? How do we demolish it? Do we hit it? Do we eat it? Okay, so we actually have to be hands-free and then E. So I thought we have to go and pick up things with uh, the demolished thing. So let's E. Okay. See what that looks like. Oh, wow, okay. And now we can pick this up. Can we pick up more than one? Nope, he just swaps them. Okay, grass mode. So now we have to go over with the lawnmower. Okay, let's do that. And do we just literally ride over the grass? Is that how it cuts it? Does it cut it automatically? Yeah, it did. Chicken? <laughs> the chicken just like, nope, don't care. Okay, oh, we built a chicken coop now. That is amazing. Oh, I love it. Okay, so let me see. Built. Built. Oh, wow. Okay. Scroll to choose. Oh, okay. So here we go. We have to actually scroll to choose the building. Oh, that is cool. Small chicken coop, $100. Medium chicken book, 250 Okay, small chicken coop. Um, three hands. Yeah, we have two. So that's fine. Let's build it. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. And then here we can um, f at attic demolished. Oh, demolish the house. So hang on a second. Can we get out of this? And can we open this up? Nice. And can we put the chicken in there? Is there any other place to open it? No. Chicken, come here. <laughs> it's like slowly walking away saying, like, yeah, you're not going to put me in there. Okay, let's see. There you go. Look at that, that is amazing. We gotta get the other one as well and put it in. There we go. Beautiful, nice. And now we have two chickadees in there, two hens, nice. Okay, let's go into the attic and start demolishing everything. Oh, we have to remove the trash first before we can actually get rid of a room, okay. 
Uh, we literally completely destroying everything. Wow. That's the roof gone. So it does want you to actually remove all the middle parts here first. So if you go into a wall, you can't actually destroy it unless you get rid of everything that's on the wall. Okay, fair enough. So when it gets dark and you press L, you actually have a light coming out of your face. <laughs> it's, it's, it's literally, I love this. I actually like that, that there is a light that's uh, coming out of your character. It's really nice, you know, because there's a lot of times you want to do night work. I mean, never underestimate the eagerness of a guy and his crowbar. Okay, I think that's the last two walls. And now we should be able to destroy the ground. No, nope, there's one more item highlighted. So when you want to destroy something, it highlights the item that's still in the way, which is great. And I think that's it. Yes. Awesome. Everything gone. The whole place destroyed. So what do we need to do now? Foundation build. You know what? We're going to go to sleep first. Because I'm wet through the bone. Luckily, I don't seem to need any such uh, uh, food. There we go. Let's sleep and save. Ah, oh, it's still raining. Lousy weather. So what do you want me to do? A foundation build. Okay. So go to build mode. Oh, look at that. What do I want to build? It's a retro farmhouse. Not available. Not available. Oh, I can like literally build a humongous house straight away. Oh, there we go. Farmhouse. $500. That is literally what we can afford. Can we move it up a little bit? Or is it literally only going to be in that fixed location? Yeah, I think it's in that fixed location. I don't think I can scroll it or move it. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it looks like a neat little house. Okay, so it puts the foundation down of the house. Okay, I see. Very good. So now, take a jerry can. Table saw fueled. Woodlock taken. Oh, now I have to actually make the resources to build the house. That is amazing. I love this. Take the jerry can. Fuel the table saw, which is all the way down here. Oh, there's another building here. Oh, nice. Okay, so here's the table saw. And let's fill it up. Okay, so that's full. So we can take that again. And we can probably just leave it here. Now, let's go find a log. It wants us to take the specific log, but I suppose we can cut down any tree, really. But it wants us to take this log here. Pick it up. Let's put it into the table saw. Oh, look at that. And we didn't lose a finger. That is amazing. Oh, yes. Look at that. We get the wood planks now. And we can pick up multiple. That is so sweet. Load the planks into the UTV and take them to the house. Oh, okay. Excellent. So we can just leave them here. And oh, what is this? This looks like something we can mine. So let's take the UTV. And bring it down there and that way we can put the planks on it and yeah 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 okay one of those chickens was being very eager already can we put it into the basket press e to put it in yes we can oh that is so cool let me just check the the chicken Did they lay more eggs let's put the basket right here did you guys lay more eggs no not yet there we go. Nice. Bring it right here into the house. Pick up those guys. And we just press left click. Ah, there we go. That works. I wonder if they stay on it, though. Let's see. No, absolutely not. So how are we supposed to load them into the UTV? Oh, open the tailgate. Ah, ooh. Okay, okay. Yes, beautiful. You see? Big brain, big brain. We're gonna have to let our chicken out. I think they have to drink. Oh, they're drinking now, yeah. Look at that, because they were very thirsty. And hopefully this means they're drinking now. I don't see it going up. Okay, but they're hungry as well. So we have the food right here. So hopefully they will eat and drink. Oh, wow, okay. That is actually pretty cool. I, sorry, I just got interested in. Now it's fully green. Excellent. And we just let them walk around. Okay. Let's take take those wood planks and insert them. There we go. Oh, okay. Can we insert them here as well? Oh, cool. Now we have to build the house. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our vehicle and going to load it with um, these guys. I'm assuming we can do the same. Oh, okay, cool. 
and then we're gonna bring them all down, cut them up, and um, bring them back here and build our house. Ah, oh, there's a stacking limit. So it seems to be one plank for each component of the house. We can carry up to three planks. So I think I chopped enough. I'm not really sure, but we'll see. Oh, wow. But we'll see. There we go. And the stairs. And how many more pieces do we need? About six. Is that the last one? No, we need one more. Okay, let's get it. So does that mean the house is gonna be magically complete now once we put the last one in or how is this gonna work? Let's see. Huh. Oh, it's finished. We had to step off it. Okay. So congratulations. You have completed the introductory quest and you now know the basics. You are free to explore the open world, build additional facilities, Purchase and breed animals, obtain new vehicles, go hunting and expand upon your ranch. See the glossary for more details. It's time to build your homestead into a prosperous ranch. So obviously key to this is going to be able to make money. So the quests gave us actually money so far, but I don't think we have any quests left. So if we're going to look at our journal, there is no quests after the introduction. So I wonder if we're going to have to just start doing things, then quests will show up because somehow we're going to have to make money. So. I'm gonna have to read through this, but for an episode one, I think I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna have to read up a little bit more to see now how we're gonna continue. And there's an egg! I mean, seeing that we don't have to actually eat, I'm assuming this is all for us to sell. And how are my chicken doing? Are they still thirsty though? But there's water right here. Huh. I mean, it's raining. Why are they thirsty? Uh, anyway, well, oh, you know what? I think I figured it out. Let's do that actually quickly before I forget it. So let's go to build. When we were here, there's a feeder for $100. So maybe we should build that. Okay. And do we have to interact with that and fill it up or something? Fill the feeder with food. Oh, I removed it. Oh, is it gone? Gone. Okay, let's see, maybe we can... No, we don't have any food in our hand. Oh, great. I just removed the last source of food. We're gonna have to buy chicken food. We're gonna have to go to the shop and buy chicken food. But anyway, we're gonna work all this out next time. With water, there we go. Look at that. Can we do that with water? Pick it up. And now can we... Yes. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at this. It fills up with water. Now the guys can drink. Oh, that is so sweet. So they should be, their thirst bar should be filling up again. And then their hunger is good for the moment, but we have to go and buy um, more chicken feed. Oh, this is cool. So at least we will be able to look after our chicken. And um, then we're going to see if we can sell the eggs or something. Anyway, there's loads to do. And I really love the fact that um, we're kind of on our own a little bit, but we have a house, which is great. So can we sleep in the house now and save the game? Look at that. That's amazing. Let's go upstairs. Is this, I'm assuming this is where the bedroom is. Oh, yeah, it is. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming.